you fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today a vlog. I have a bunch of things I want to talk about and update you on. Uh, the swap meet I just went to and some new fish in the fish room. So grab a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Alright fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, like I said, I'm going to do a vlog, sort of talk about some things in the fish room, some things that, that have been going on with Michael's fish room. And uh, first thing I want to talk about is my awesome shirt. It's got a pleco on it, it says Got Wood, which is funny itself, but then it says Suck It. Uh, a vendor at the Lehigh Valley Aquarium Society swap meet that I went to on Sunday, which is kind of what I want to talk about, was there. Uh, her name's Stephanie. She runs a company called Stephanie's, sorry, Steph's Whimsical Creations. And she has mugs and shirts and she can do custom stuff. Uh, I'll put a link in my description for her Facebook page where you can buy awesome shirts like this. I think the shirt was 20 bucks. Um, but check her out. Love the local vendors. Love the, you know, little side hustle people have like I do. Awesome shirt. All right, what else? At the Lehigh Valley Aquarium Swap, I did get a couple new strains of fish for the fish room. Well, one old strain that I haven't had for a while and one new strain. I did meet a lot of fans. Uh, two of my favorites are, uh, I'll call him Fred. His name is Melvin, but he was really shy and wouldn't tell me his name, so I told him I'm going to call him Fred, but his name is Melvin. Here's a picture of him. Great little kid. Um, I think he's five. His father and grandfather are into fish. And his grandfather had bought some fish for me, uh, and then I met them and took a picture. It was great. It was great meeting them. All right, fishy folks. The other young person I want to recognize is uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn has her own YouTube channel. I think she's nine, and her YouTube channel is uh, Fish Keeping Kids, Kids Keeping Fish. And um, her father had mentioned to me via email that she was a big fan. She has her own channel. Would be okay if she stopped by and said hello. I, I love kids. I hate people in general, but I love kids, especially kids in the hobby, that I can help in the hobby as well. So um, just this week, I, I sent two, sorry, three pairs of fish to uh, three young people who needed a summer project that grandfather's going to help them with. And uh, Brooklyn, I, I gave, I don't know, a, a little handheld uh, tripod for her phone or her dad's phone that she films the videos on to help her with the videos because it looked like she her little hands were struggling to hold the camera so I had an extra one I gave it to her um, and uh, go check out our channel send her some love subscribe make sure you comment and like and all that good stuff all right so the Lehigh Valley Aquarium uh, swap meet was at uh, a, in a firehouse. It was a very warm day, but actually inside it wasn't too bad. We were out of the sun. There was a cross breeze. Uh, the fire department uh, was barbecuing hamburgers and hot dogs as a, a fundraiser. And of course they had some um, donations and stuff. So uh, it was a great time. I saw a lot of good, a lot of friends uh, in the fishy hobby, of course. I set up right next to my good friends, Karen and Alan. All right, I just really want to quick talk about uh, aquarium, local aquarium clubs. I love the local aquarium clubs for a couple of different reasons. Obviously, there's some like-minded people as far as fishy nerddom goes. Uh, you know, you can talk about your fish tanks and not worry about them thinking you're crazy like normal people, you know. Um, but also the information base, uh, just especially in the older clubs where you have, you know, those five or six old timers who've been doing this for so long. Uh, they remember going to the, the store and getting actual, real antibiotics for your fish over the counter. You know, no API erythromycin or whatever, or, or no uh, prescription needed if you're in another country besides the U.S. Uh, slate bottom tanks they'll talk about, or how they used to uh, filter their fish tanks with underground filters, and they were the best, and when I hang on backs, you know, all these, these old timers, I just love... Uh, tapping into their knowledge, knowledge about everything from setting tanks up to cycling to, to helping, you know, with medications and, and illness and disease. They, they're great. They're, they're the best source of us. Better than any Facebook group you could uh, ask for. Mine, Keith's, any other Facebook group. The old timers, they definitely know best because they've been doing it longest. It doesn't mean you have to take their advice for the gospel. It just means you should probably listen. 
Um, but the Lehigh Valley Aquarium Society is a newer group. Uh, I did a, a talk there, I don't know, a couple months ago about breeding for profit, breeding guppies for profit. I'm going to be doing another talk in June. Um, information will be down below and on the Facebook page for Lehigh Aquar Aquarium. Lehigh Valley Aquarium Society. Uh, that's a real good one, and I love the Bucks County Aquarium Society. Now, I haven't been to a Bucks meeting in a really long time with the pandemic. I don't think they were having them, and I'm not a big fan of the online meetings because I have like five or six online meetings a day for my job. I would much rather leave the house and go talk to someone. So, But I'm looking forward to Bucks County when they get back up and running and going to some of their shows as well. So I get a lot, a lot of questions I get are, are there any local aquarium clubs in my area? How the hell would I know? Like... Google that exact question, you'll get your answer. Ask around, ask at your local fish store, ask at your local big box store in the fish department. They People probably know, but Facebook and Google would be your, your friend in, in that case. All right, so at the, as I said, at the aquarium swap, I did get two new strains of fish, which I'm gonna go show you in a minute. Uh, I got uh, jar wheel azulis from my friends Karen and Alan. Um, that I'm going to start to breed again. I have enough to actually sell a few, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on the website or not. If you're interested, send me an email and maybe I'll, I'll see how the interest and see if I put some on the website before I breed them. And then I got some uh, Hawaiian purple mosaics or purple Hawaiian mosaics. Hawa they're purple, they're mosaic, they're Hawaiian. Um, they look pretty cool and I know the young lad. Uh, I've seen the young lad that sells them. Uh, I bought some other stuff from him before and they always did well. So I thought I'd give them a shot. Um, I like to, before the show starts, I like to go and, and look and see what we have. And, uh, you know, make some offers. People sometimes, they just want to sell. They don't want to wait and see if they can get more money. I always try to get the best deal. And then my favorite time is, is when all the customers are gone and the vendors are packing up. And you know they don't want to take fish home or they don't want to take items home. And you're like, you offer dirt cheap prices and they're like okay and you get some good deals i got a good deal on some adult plecos uh that i haven't decided if i'm gonna you know just put them in a breeding pond or breed them here or just sell them as adults so all right folks refill your snack and beverage uh let's go ahead and check out the new fish stand by all right fishy folks these are the jar wheel azulis i got from karen and alan um, I just threw them in here. This was a tank that had a couple of fry in it um, that I just threw in the mutt guppy tank to grow out in there. Um, standard setup, aquarium co-op sponge filter. Love the aquarium co-op sponge filter. I do have to get some more java moss or something for my buddy Keith at KGE Aquatics. Um, or I might just pull some from another tank. But like I said, I have a couple of pairs I could probably sell, but I may just keep them... Um, and just let them breed over the summer and see what we got in the fall. I, I would imagine it's going to take about three or four months to get some breeding size uh, or some fish that's sellable size. Maybe maybe two or three months. We'll see, but we'll go from there. All right. The next thing that I want to show you are these Hawaiian purple mosaics. Mosaic Hawaiian. No, purple mosaic. Purple Hawaiian or Hawaiian purple mosaics. I don't remember. They're in the uh, super red long fin tank. You can see one over there, but these guys are gorgeous. Um, I've heard of them before. I have a customer who had been looking for them. His uncle uh, is the one that created them. And uh, when I saw them, I'm like, yeah, let me get them and see what they're all about. So they're pretty cool. I like them. Um, I'm going to breed these out. There were a couple of extra males than I think there were pairs, but I did get some trios. So if you do the math, I think I have an equal amount, female and male. Look at this this male longfin though. He's so cool. Anyway, we'll let these breed out. I do have to get some more floating plants in here as well. And there's a poop ton of snail eggs. Oh, I also got a poop ton of um, assassin snails. I bought uh, the guy out of assassin snails early, like before the show started. Um, and I would have bought more. And then I decided not to buy more because he came up to me later in the show and said he found more. So... Uh, if I wanted to buy them, but now I figured I'd give someone else a chance to buy them So I put them in a lot of these pleco tanks to do their thing. This is a super red grow out tank and a, a green lace Guppies doing well, so I know some of you are asking how I did at the show. I did okay I don't I don't really go to the shows to make Obviously I go to make money. It would be dumb for me to tell you I don't 
But I don't go to the shows to like make a killing because I do quite well with my website. So uh, I don't like I don't need to sell at a show to to get rid of stock and, and make money. You know what I'm saying? Like some people have to make that's their only avenue is selling at the local fish club or at these swap meets. Um, I, I don't need to do that. So I don't bargain like when I'm done, when, when people come up to me and say, oh, would you take $10 for that bag of $30 fish? No, I won't. Because I'll just go home, put them back in the tank and sell them on my website. So, But I got to meet a good, a bunch of people. I did make enough money that it was definitely worth it. But to be honest, if I didn't, if I came out and broke even, it would have been worth it to meet uh, Melvin and Brooklyn and to see... Uh, to see my good friends uh, from Fish Club. So that does it for the, 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 the vlog. There is a adult albino uh, bristle nose that I got. I got a bunch of adults. I don't know, seven or eight adults for a really good deal at the end of the show. Uh, I put them, I think I put most of them in here. I put maybe half of them in here, half of them in another tank so we didn't get any ammonia spike. And uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet. So like I said, that does it for the tour. Before we go, we definitely say hi, have to say hi to Taco. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Say bye, Taco. Bye, Taco. All right, fishy folks. Before we get started, I just want to talk about my shirt. It says, Got Wood and Suck It. And it's a Pleco. And uh, a very nice... I don't, I don't even know what the company name is. God damn it! All right, fishy folks. Welcome back to the channel. Um, first thing I want to talk about is my awesome shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It says, just drop my phone. <laughs> Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today is sort of a vlog. I got a bunch of things to talk about, and, uh, I want to, uh, just, you know, I don't know what I want to do. I, I want to do this right. <laughs> I'm fine. 